Here's the recat structure. And then up here at 22 degrees, uh, 55 minutes west, I mean, I'm sorry, north 22 degrees, 55 minutes, west 10 degrees, 24 minutes, I've got a marker. And then I've got another one up here, I don't have the coordinates, but the Temichat, Temimichat crater. Here we have the Temimichat, I'm not sure how to pronounce that, crater in Mauritania. Right, okay, 24 degrees, 15 minutes north, 9 degrees, 39 minutes west. And then we also have the, the Tenemur crater at 22 degrees, 55 minutes north, 10 degrees, 24 minutes west, right? And then here we have the te Temimichat crater, <laughs> this and the reset and they are in a dead perfect alignment. Oh man, like it was a, a bombardment where something breaks up and it hits in a line. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Wow. Is that the explanation? I don't know. I don't know. Another, it's another interesting coincidence. All right. And I don't know, but yeah, that's the first thing it would suggest is, and then there's actually, uh, but you know, I, I'm not sure yet of the dating of these other craters. Right. So that would be the next thing to research. But you know, the work of Herbert Shaw that he did, cra uh, Chronicles, Craters, and Cosmos, he basically used chaotic dynamics to develop this idea that the that impact events on Earth were not randomly uh, displayed, but were actually cohered to certain patterns. Uh -huh. And there were certain regions and alignments. And it's a very complex, deep book. I attempted to read it once. I have more mathematical tools at my disposal now, so I'm actually wanting to reread the book because I, I attempted to read it when it first came out in the 80s. Um, yeah, he basically refers to impact swaths, that even over time, there will be certain places on Earth that are more susceptible to impacts, huh. which I find to be a very interesting idea.